I'm Coyote Peterson, and today, there's a pack of wolves in my backyard. Oh! When the crew and I first arrived at Howler's Inn, we didn't know what to expect. A long gravel drive led us up toward the rolling hills of Montana, and we found ourselves at a beautiful log home. The sanctuary was quiet, almost serene, and as I walked the grounds alone, it was obvious that this was about to be a magical experience. Howler's Inn is a federally licensed wolf sanctuary, home to five magnificent Alaskan tundra wolves. Kiowa and Chinook, the alpha female and male, Tahoe, the right-hand commander to the Alphas, Comanche, the pack elder, and last, but certainly not least, the ever-friendly and playful Sakani. For anyone that loves animals, what could be better than sharing a space in Montana with these incredible wolves? Now, Howler's Inn was founded in 1992, and this wolf sanctuary was built to help save wolves that were born into captivity that then people didn't want. We're gonna go out back here and see the pack. There's five wolves that live out here, and it's gonna be pretty cool. Look, 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 here comes the pack. They're all running down. Hi, guys. Now, these are Alaskan tundra wolves, and it may look like they're nipping at each other, but they're actually just playing and having a good time. All these wolves are a family pack, and I don't want to talk too loud because it'll spook them. They are very shy, elusive creatures. Right now, they're just kind of adapting to us being here, saying, okay, new people in our habitat. But as you can see, they've got all this territory that they're able to roam through, and they've got a den that's built over here in the trees. And this wolf pack is no different from the wolf packs that are in the wild. They have a typical hierarchy structure. We have an alpha male, an alpha female, and then the omegas. Now, Comanche, who you see right out of here, he's the big white one, kind of looks like a dire wolf from Game of Thrones. He was once the alpha male, but Chinook and Tahoe, who are brothers, schemed together and overthrew Comanche from his reign. Now, Chinook is the alpha male, Tahoe's kind of like his second in command, and as you can see, I don't think the Comanche's having any problem not being the leader of the pack. It's one big happy wolf family here at Holler's Inn. And these wolves are not pets. These wolves are rescues. So this is a sanctuary for them, basically to live their lives in a natural setting. And they stay out here year round. And we're here in September. So you may see that it's beautiful. There's obviously no snow on the ground. But when that snow comes down, it comes down in feet. We're talking three to six feet can be out here at any point in time. And these wolves just tough right through it. They either tuck down in their den or they come out here and move throughout the snow. And those paws are so big that they can basically spread over the top of the snow and they walk right across it. Us as humans walking through there, we'd be sinking up to our necks in it. The wolves gracefully running across the top. And these wolves are absolutely built for the winter. The coats that they have on their bodies are so incredibly thick, it'll keep them warm in temperatures as low as minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit. It's so incredible how well they blend right into that environment. And Chance kept saying to me, no, I, I can see her, she's right out there. I, was, I, I don't see her. But sure enough, look, she's about to just disappear back into those grasses. Now, wolves are typically more afraid of humans than we should ever be of wolves, and of course, they've gotten a bad name throughout time. And just being here in this close proximity to these animals today, I mean, just fills you with this incredible energy. And you feel that these animals are just, ah, oh, it's like nothing you can describe being in the presence of wolves like this. Viewing and filming these magnificent creatures from the observation platform was incredible, but we wanted to get closer. One of the greatest perks at Howler's Inn the walking paths along the outside of the wolf enclosure, and we were about to have the encounter of a lifetime. This backdrop here, the mountains of Bozeman, Montana, what an amazing place for these wolves to live. Now they do have to be kept in an enclosure, obviously, and this is their territory. This is where their pack lives. It's where they hang out, it's where they eat, it's where they sleep, uh, and they will defend it, which is why we need to be on this side of the fence. Uh, but it's cool just being able to get this close to this majestic animal. Uh, see, they're curious. They want to know. There's some new people out here in our environment. We're trying to stay real low and quiet. Sakani is just kind of coming right down the edge of the fence right now. She's very curious. Here we go. Hi, sweetie. Hi. Oh, look at how beautiful that wolf is. Chance, what's that like getting that close to an Alaskan tundra wolf? Uh, that's intimidating. Yeah, they are a lot bigger than you think, huh? Hi, how are you? Look at those eyes. How beautiful are your eyes? This is Sakani. She's one of the most social wolves in the pack. I don't want to stick my fingers through the fence and pet her, even though it is very, very tempting. And you can just see how thick and dense that coat is. It's no wonder these guys can stay warm in temperatures as low as minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Look how dense and thick that is. And that beautiful, big, bushy tail. Aren't you a pretty girl? Wow, it's unbelievable how big they are once you get right up close like that. 
So cool that's the closest I've ever been to a wolf. Spending time in the presence of wolves cannot truly be expressed in words. All I can say is that staying at Howler's Inn was an experience I will never forget. Trust me, you will walk away feeling as if you too are one of the pack. If you guys want to get up close and personal with wolves, I definitely recommend coming out here to check out the sanctuary. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. If you thought that was one wild adventure, check out these other animal encounters. And don't forget, subscribe to follow me and the crew on this season of Breaking Trail.